subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from prep ladder hi guys this is dr patil your medicine educator for prep ladder nutritionist and i am today here to give you some valuable insights into your preparation strategies for nutritionist strategy is very very important if you don't have a right plan probably despite having a good preparation you might end up not gaining much in the penultimate two months of your preparation this is the most crucial time we all recognize it and stress is already boil, boiling and when we have such a high intensity examination that is quite natural right but we have to clearly understand that it is not someone who has more information in his brain ends up winning these exams it is someone who had a very smart approach to his exam preparation is the one who wins right like we know students who were just restricting to one standard source and prepared well from that and got single digit ranks and then we also know students who were going through multiple sources textbooks journals research articles everything to understand one topic but when when they are equipped with so much of information they still end up not making a great in the examination well both well, i mean anybody can succeed at exam i'm not saying that okay those who are reading very detailed uh, information are not going to succeed in the exam but that's not the smartest way i think that is something we all can agree right the smartest way is to identify what are the important topics and focus on them but how do we identify what are the important topics okay obviously we can identify the important topics by looking at the previous papers so if you look at the previous papers you will be able to identify that there are a trend there is a trend so like you you guys are all already familiar that this year the questions are going to be clinical and lengthy this is this is like very much evident to all of us because we have a glimpse of it in the last neat ss so this year also questions are going to be in the similar lines then if you have already looked at the neat ss papers from 2017 till now then you would have recognized that some topics have become very very important so they have asked a lot of a lot of questions in and around those topics then some topics are kind of absolutely neglected now in last two months those topics from which questions have not appeared in the past uh, papers like better not to waste too much time on them i don't say that okay don't touch at all but better not to waste too much time on them just a quick look may be adequate but those topics from which questions regularly appear are the ones which should be consuming your time in the next two months time right okay so here are five important areas to focus when the exam is just around the corner my first tip or suggestion is focus more on mcqs right now than video lectures okay the reason for that is video lectures are basically meant to build a sound foundation right so you first understand the topic well and then you have a foundation and after that once you start solving mcqs you start understanding the finer nuances of the points conveyed in the video lectures right so just by looking at the video lectures we have only one third of the understanding of the topic uh, you because like in in one hour video lecture there will be at least 200 or 300 statements made by the faculty members and all of those statements are your mcq weapons for an examiner they are mcq weapons any any of those stat statements can be twisted or any of those statements can be directly asked as an mcq but can we remember all those all those statements just at the end of the video lecture Ob obviously no right so when you start solving mcqs you start getting an insight okay this statement can be used in this way in forming mcq so i should remember this and actually when you start solving mcqs the points conveyed to you in the video lecture start getting cemented in your brain so a solid memory is achieved when you solve mcqs okay now you might ask sir exam is only 2 months away and now you are recommending us to go through mcqs yes this is the ideal time where you should be spending more time on mcqs than video lectures because even if you have not watched a particular video lecture until and unless it's a very high yield topic i wouldn't recommend you to go through video lectures first solve mcqs if you feel that you are absolutely unaware of the topic or you you have a weak conceptual understanding of a topic then go to the video lectures and get it sorted if you feel that you have a basic understanding of the topic and some questions you are getting it wrong then visit the textbook or the notes and replenish your information or knowledge from that this will give you a quick revision for the topic in a shortest possible time if you follow the alternate approach that i go through video lectures and then i come to mcqs it will consume a lot of time so you can prioritize right so for example if you are having a topic which you have not unheard of or you have touched not touched at all or you had an apprehension of touching this topic and it had been like long overdue maybe okay in that case start with video lectures understand the topic well then go through mcqs but at least for those topics where you have a fair good of good of good amount of idea right start with mcqs at the end of mcqs if you feel good with the topic then probably i wouldn't recommend you to waste your time on the video lectures but you feel that okay i still have a lot of lacunae to understand 
it is a very conceptual topic and i'm finding it difficult to uh, difficult to answer for example uh, questions related to diabetes insipidus there is a lot of conceptual understanding required to answer that where they are mentioning the urine volume they are mentioning the urine osmolality they are mentioning some other findings they are mentioning the vasopressin test results they are mentioning the water deprivation test results yeah if you feel that you are unable to answer that you are unable to grasp that then start with video lectures and then go to mcqs otherwise solve more and more mcqs trust me this is going to make a important uh, game changer like today if you are if there are two students who are standing neck and neck in terms of their preparation or understanding if one one fellow follows the video lecture approach just listen keep listening the other fellow follows just solving mcqs trust me the person who is solving mcqs will will be having a rank way above the the rank achieved by someone who is just listening okay. like we do try we do try to address important mcq points mcq points in and uh, like at that point itself when we are discussing the video lectures but still it is time consuming process it's not something that is wise to spend time on when you have only two months behind your exam right but those who are starting the preparation now those who are giving the next year's exam or like those who are just beginning their residency in medicine i would strongly recommend that watch the video lectures first you will have a very good understanding of the topic and then go through the mcqs and textbooks by the time if you keep repeating the cycle at least two or three times by the time you reach your final year of md Uh, your md degree is also assured because i'm sure uh, the way the current preparatory lectures are built you can easily answer all your md md paper questions and also your neat ss right okay the second thing is take more and more mock tests this at this point of time i'm not saying that you should know where you stand in comparison to your competitors well that is also important but anyway now now next two months definitely needs dedication so whether you stand at the bottom of your preparation or whether you are at the top of your preparation you need to be dedicated right so when you are going to be dedicated then this rank doesn't matter the rank that you get in the mock test doesn't matter you may have a much better result if you are going to be dedicated for the exam preparation for next two months then this rank is not going to matter but still i am pushing you to do mock test because my objective here is i want you to be full proof of committing silly mistakes in the examination hall i'm sure all of you have this experience you come out of the examination hall saying that oh shit i should have answered that mujhe laga i thought that that is the right answer but still i ended up answering option c i i knew that the option a is right answer but i ended up answering option c this is like a common story right all of you uh, even after watching this lesson all of you will do that most of you will do that after the exam you will be discussing the same thing yaar mujhe laga it was option a but still somehow i don't know what made me i answered c these are silly mistakes these are habits that we have cultivated we have to get rid of these habits every question we have to think objectively and take a objective decision just don't think randomly don't think uh, uh, like out of the box uh, that's a common tendency what we do is in the examination hall yaar itna easy exam itna easy question kyun puchega like in one of the neat ss examination there was a question about um, about which cell secrete insulin alpha beta and those that those were the options and i'm sure students have answered it wrong i only encountered some seven eight students like very good students who came and said like somehow we got confused and we answered some other cells the reason is like itna easy question kyun puchega aur aisa question kyun puchega we we start thinking out of the box right take one question at a time and think objectively don't think out of the box or don't think beyond the limits examiners are human beings and mostly questions are set objectively right okay so when you do lot of mock tests when when you subject yourself to the grill of an examination right you will start understanding that you are doing mistakes consistently but you can start improvising because you are getting an idea how you are committing mistakes so if if you give good number of mock tests before your main exam then you will be better prepared for the main exam you will not do silly mistake do it now before you get into the examination hall right do it now that's my recommendation so in remaining two months at least give Four to six mocks. Four to six mocks. Okay. Now the third point is also equally important. I call them as memory hacks. Uh, someone may may call it as mnemonics. Mnemonics may not work for everything, but we still can develop some memory hacks to remember stuff. Now this is particularly very important at this point of time because we know that some topics are very important, but those topics, despite being very important, they are very difficult to remember. So we end up ignoring them. right so we know like a, a question aayega but uh, anyway it's like even if i read it for 2 to 3 hours i'll not be able to remember it to chhod do please don't do that if you know that any topic a question is highly likely 
please do not miss that topic the alternatively what you can do is go through the topic understand it and to remember it create your own memory map or a memory hack that it need not always be mnemonic mnemonic works when you have to remember causes for something and all and a pg student is way past that stage right so you don't need to, you're not writing your university papers so you you don't need to use those mnemonic techniques but still develop some memory hacks relate to some weird things so that you remember that particular point right so try developing that this is very important right now so make a short list of topics which you feel that you are going to forget stuff and try to create memory hacks for them even it is okay to find out some memory hacks on the internet search for that like search for mnemonics or uh, uh, easy way to remember and then search whatever the topic you want you will find a lot of them right so try to follow them so that you don't commit mistakes on commonly repeated topics right so this is the third important suggestion i want to give you okay fourth actually i should be placing it on top of it but because we are more talking about the approach rather than the uh, the absolute value of these individual approaches right so that's why i listed it down but this is very very important tables and flowcharts of the harrison right so i keep telling this in every strategy video because like when mcqs are constructed from the table that makes it very easy for the examiner to construct mcqs right so focus on all the tables of harrison and all the flowcharts like okay i have completed preparing a particular system like okay if i if you're talking about neurology i went through video lectures i solved mcqs then i have glanced through notes okay even then irrespective of what is your source of preparation go back to harrison spend at least 2 to 3 hours after you have closed one system and try to go through all the all the tables and flowcharts trust me this is going to be the next most important high yield approach right mcqs and mock tests and tables and flowcharts so you will you will encounter at least 10% of the questions which could be directly answered just because you looked at the flowchart just before going into the examination hall right so please do that don't omit this step uh, i'm requesting you don't omit this step okay then before i move to the fifth point just remember when you are solving mcqs particularly pay attention to pyqs means previous year questions okay if not questions directly repeating at least the topics repeat topics lot of time they repeat in fact questions also repeat in neat ss they they pick up questions from like the question that was asked on the the core ss speciality in cardiology will now start appearing in medicine this has been like a trend from here it shuffles to there from there it shuffles to here that had been a trend so if you are able to catch hold of all the pyqs go through them and just don't understand the mcq right make a visit to the topic uh, topic proper try to spend some time so that you don't miss out any question asked about this topic so topics are more likely to recur than the direct mcqs or lifts right okay the last one is you definitely need to take a quick update every neat ss there will be one or two questions from recent updates there is a long list of updates that one should be aware practically not possible but at least superficially the important updates important changes that have have, have happened in last two or three years the things that had created a ripple in the medical fraternity those things you need to remember so importance are like your surviving sepsis campaign guidelines aha uh, american college of cardiology guidelines related to stemi and stemi and your acls protocols then your ada guidelines gold and gina guidelines these are the bare minimum things i would recommend you to get updated okay and some of the newly approved drugs are also asked as an mcq which i do tend to share on the platform whenever i get to know about the updates but you also make an attempt to have a quick look at the important changes or important drugs that have been recently approved so with that i think you should be ready to face your neat ss examination and uh, if all goes well then definitely you will come out with the fly flying colors and in that in that case you and we eventually will end up celebrating our victory right so take the plunge now make up your mind you need to be very very dedicated to your goal for next two months no deviation have a tubular vision focus on what what is the task at hand two months yes there will be hardships at times you might feel that okay i am not made for it or it is time for me to quit let me try next year please don't do that mistake hanging on even with difficulties till the end will give you the result okay previously those people who barely managed to get into the, the the rank of getting seat right some of them had decided to quit but somehow they they decided to hang on and they ended up making their way into if not a first digit rank single digit rank they still made their way into a, a good government college seat 
it is still possible even at this point of time even if you are starting preparation now it is still possible right so start it even if you are not started start it if you started have a strategy make a plan and uh, get going do not look back for next two months no matter what hardships you are going to face right okay now one last important point when you are following all the strategy and everything if you feel that there are there are difficulties and uh, you are unable to hang in you are lacking motivation do not hesitate to connect with any one of us any one of the popular educator uh, let us try to help you out with with respect to your preparation right so having said that let me sign off and i'll be coming back again maybe after a month to give you what is the next best logical thing to do in the next one month time right